What is the difference between exec and eval? Exec hooks you up basically to the exec syscall. There's other things it can do. I can manage file descriptors in Bash. Um, so exec will let me take a program and become that thing. Um, I can also do like exec to greater than ampersand one and I can redirect file descriptor two to file descriptor one. I can do things like that. Um, eval is totally different. Eval takes whatever's in the string here and evaluates in the shell. So if I were to run like, you know, echo uh, user, it'll say Dave. If I were to eval and put this in single quotes, which normally won't expand variables, you'll still get Dave because eval took this whole thing and ran it through a shell. It's the equivalent of running this, except eval happens on your current shell. It happens inside your current shell. This happens in a child process. So for example, if we were to say foo equals hi, and then we were to eval echo foo, we will see that we get hi. That's great, that's awesome. If we were to run bash minus c, we get nothing because we don't inherit variables in our child processes. The way we would inherit variables is if we were to export foo. Once we export foo, then this will work because exporting turns it into an environmental variable. Now that it's a variable in your environment, all your child processes will get it when you fork and exec it. So, how was that? <laughs> See, I know too much about this stuff, and that's why the course is going to be awesome. <laughs>